Yo, what's up, agent? I'm back to you with another build. Today, builds for conflict. It's a sort rifle build with a huge amount of damage and good armor. Now, I'm gonna leave you the gameplay and back to you at the end. So, let's go. Double job is done. Hit the left. واحد داون قطع الغيوث عشان تيدك الاخر لاق عليه البوست يمهم يا انا مزبوط Boost, boost. <laughs> 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 Out of down. Out of down. Finish. Down, down. Finish. Down. Finish. Finish. down down finish finish Seeker mine detected. Hostile seeker mine detected. 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 Seeker mine على الله على الله let's go alright let me show you the build I'm using technician for the mod which boss the enemy and I'm using king breaker for the talent perfect outline 
Amplifies open damage by 20% to pulsed enemies. After three kills, applies pulse to the next enemy you hit. For the mod, uh, crit damage, extra 20 round, the technician mod, and crit change. And damaging nemesis. This uh, sniper is so good. Even if you are like, if you are not good with the, with the headshot, you can land the body shot. It's all about crit. And I'm using TDI card costume for the extra one skill tier and uh, the talent sledgehammer. For the mask, I'm using Kyuri mask. For the mod, the uh, critical head damage. For the chest, I'm using closer. It's gonna give me 5% total armor. Armor, crit damage, crit chains. For the mod, crit damage. Uh, for the talent, perfect spotter. Amplifies total weapon and skill damage by 20% to post enemies. For the hoster, I'm using uh, Siska. It's gonna give me 10% uh, critical chains. Armor, crit damage, and crit chains. For the knee pad, I'm using uh, Fox Player. It's gonna give me rifle damage, which uh, we, I don't use it, but uh, I'm, I'm using this uh, this piece for uh, that 8% uh, damage target out of cover because it's so important. Armor and crit chains. For the gloves, I'm using Fenris, gonna give me 10% assault rifle damage. You know, all red. For the backpack, I'm using Matador. It's gonna give me 5% open damage, armor, crit chains, crit damage, and for the mod, crit damage. For the talent, perfect as 9 rush, whenever you you are within 10 meter of an enemy, gain 12% bonus armor for 5 seconds. Stack up 2-3 times, cooldown 5 seconds. Uh, for the skills, uh, choose whatever you want, just, uh, you know, I'm keeping uh, like uh, my decoy. Or sometimes uh, change to booster. And uh, for the sticky, sometimes I'm using pulse or defender drone. It's up to you. And uh, for the stat, on marking a breaker, I have 60%. And uh, one, uh, 146 grid damage. On Nemesis, I am also have 60% grid chains. And the same amount, 146 critical damage. You know, for the armor, it's uh, 1.7. Uh, I just uh, need to, I just, my, I want to pay attention on one thing that, uh, on conflict, everybody know that, it's not a secret, there is no expertise level, so you are going zero. And there is no watch, like uh, all the points you get from the watch, all those things you get, you you like you will go like you have no watch all right so that's gonna affect your build so what you gonna do you just see now i have like it is 60 percent crit chains and conflict is going to be 50. so what you gonna do you change one of the mod like this this mod change two crit chains all right so under conflict you're going to be have like a 55 percent critical chains all right but you have the coyote mask. Most of the fight, like you fight from range, all right? It's uh, 15 meters. That that range is gonna give you 10% critical chance. You can change the mode, which I told you of the open, or you, you don't need to, because you gonna you already going to conflict with 50% crit chance. With the with the mask, like I told you, when you were shooting at. Uh, uh, like at enemy within uh, 15 meters, you will get that 10% you lost from the watch. All right, so need, you need to pay attention about this. And other point, when you want to use, use like you want to use your skill or you want to use your pulse, you need to. And people keep asking me about this. You need to put like you use your pistol, put your pistol in your hand and use that skill. All right, so it's going to be two skill tier, not one. Uh, I just want to. I just want to know this because there is a lot of people think that the TDI card costume, like you don't need to to use it to get that extra. No, you have to use it. Well, you like well, you need to hold it with your hand while you are using the skill. When you change from that pistol, the skill tier is going to be gone. 
and uh, that's it for today guys i have to see you with my next one skeletal rogue peace out